Hi, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today, I'm going to show you how to track and replace an object. We're going to use the planar tracker. I'm going to replace the license plate with a different license plate. So should be pretty fun. And we're going to do this in Fusion. So I've got my clip here. You can see I've got some motion. So it's going to be a little trickier than just dropping something on in place. Now you could and you could transform it and keyframe it and do all that. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it would take a long time. So I'm going to show you how to do this in fairly short order. So we're going to go into Fusion. I know a lot of you have asked to see more Fusion tutorials. I'm going to go Shift Space, bring up the Planar Tracker, and add that. So first, we have to track the object. So I've got to make sure I'm at the beginning, and I'm going to zoom in on the license plate here. And I need to draw a tri or a rectangle around whatever it is I want to track. Now, I could track the BMW logo. I could track one of the tail lights. I could track anything, but I'm going to be replacing the tail light, so might as well just trace the tail light there. All right, so I'm going to zoom out. And let's look at our options here. I want to click on set. That's my reference time. That's where I'm going to start. My tracker, I'm going to select hybrid point area. I seem to like that. I always seem to get good results out of it. Uh, I do want the output to be the background, so that'll work great. And I'm just going to track forward. Now, this is not the fastest machine. Remember, I do most of my videos on a MacBook Pro 2016, 13 inch, doesn't have a good video card in it. So these, uh, this is what probably the average person is going to see. If you have a 5K iMac, an iMac Pro, or a Windows machine with a good video card in it, it's gonna be a lot better than this. So just keep that in mind that this is probably the average experience out there, but a lot of people are gonna have much better experiences. All right, we got our track about done. And almost, come on, finish up. And it's done. So we can now see our track. A little laggy, you know, on this machine, but it looks like the track is good. All right, so now I need to change this track to a corner pin. And it throws, for some reason, some random uh, rectangle on there. I'm just going to get it close so I can zoom in and fine tune it. So let's get those corners pushed in there. I'm gonna zoom this back in to 200%. You can see I did a pretty lousy job there. So I'm going to now fix that. And I wanna make sure that I've got the outside of the license plate so that I can replace it nice. Oops, there. There we go. That, I'm going to pull that down just a hair. All right. That looks good. All right. So now if I go back to fit and I play this, you should see that it tracks that license plate really good. Now we need to replace that. So I'm going to open up my media pool. I have a license plate that I made. Drop it in place. Here we can see that. I'll put that in window one. Don't wait, subscribe today, learn DaVinci Resolve. And I'm gonna connect that to my planner tracker and watch the license plate on the car. Boom, it's done. We'll play that and you can see that image tracks exactly the way we wanted it to. Now when we go back into the edit page, this is just gonna look like a regular clip. And you'll see the red line above that denotes that this clip needs to be rendered. So it'll render it out there for good playback. And that's only going to take a moment. And let's, I'm going to put that on loop and let's play that. And now we have done motion tracking and replaced the track with a different object, which I think is so cool to do in Fusion, it, I, I love doing it, replacing billboards, things like that, replacing the screen on phones when you have too much glare, just didn't record right. There's a lot of reasons why you might wanna use the planar tracker 
and do something like this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. I, it really means a lot to me to help build this channel and teach you guys how to do all this cool stuff in DaVinci Resolve. Be sure and like the video, subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified whenever there's a new video, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.